All right, so problem number 14, multi-step. There's a lot of interruptions tonight. So let's take a look. Keisha bought three loaves of cornbread to, um, to a football party. Five twelfths of the loaf was eaten. If Keisha gave one whole loaf of the leftover bread to the party host, what part of the loaf does she have left to take home? All right, so now let's take a look. We have three loaves. And how five twelfths of it was eaten. Now we want to look to see what part the question is is what fraction of the loaf, so I'm not put what, but she what is it? Kaisha will take home. blank of the cornbread. Now remember, she gave one loaf to the host. Okay? All right, my pencil is running out. I'm like running out of everything here. All right, so now... If she ate, if the, the party they ate, five twelfths of each loaf was eaten. So I can draw that into a picture, or I can also do my problem. So um, in my multiplication problem, it'll be five twelfths times the three loaves equals, I'm going to put this over one, um, but this is eaten part. So if this is eaten, how much is not eaten? So we could figure this out and then do the difference. Or if 5 twelfths was eaten, what was, I'm going to write eaten here, what is not eaten? So I'm going to take the difference. What's 12 minus 5? It'll be, I'm going to put not eaten. It'll be 7 twelfths times 3. And I'm going to show you how you could do this and then just take the difference of that. So this would be 21 over 12. 12 goes into 21 one time. So the difference is, what, 9? It'll be 9 twelfths. Okay, so the one loaf went to the host. She's going to take home 9 twelfths of it, which also can be simplified to... What number, what can go into 9 that can also go into 12 evenly? Well, I know that 3 is, can be divided or divisible by, it can be divisible by 3. So 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So she's going to take home 3 fourths of that, of the uneaten loaf. If you did it the part for the eaten part, you have to make sure that you're labeling so you know. Here you have 15 over 12. That's going to be 1, and there's a 3 that's different, 12. So it will be 1, to simplify, 1, 3 goes into 3 1 time, 3 goes into 12 4 times, so it's 1 and 1 fourth. If I added 1, so what would be the difference? I had to get 1 fourth minus what will give me, um, so 1 fourth plus, not minus, but 1 fourth, Plus what will give me four fourths, so it'll be three fourths. So I can do it this way. This is the eaten part. We are looking for the uneaten. And so one loaf goes to the host, one goes, and then the three she takes three fourths home. To do it in a picture, you're going to have one loaf, and I'm going to make this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm going to draw this out here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Do it this way. Just so that we can see it. So there's one loaf. I'm going to separate the two loaves. And three loaves. And this is where the graph paper comes in handy as well. Because then you can keep your sections even. Okay, so I did it like this. Draw my lines. 
you can just use the lines that are there. This was eaten five twelfths. One, two, three, four, five. This was eaten one, two, three, four, and five. And this was eaten one, two, three, four, and five. So how much was it not eaten? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven twelfths of it plus seven twelfths. So this would be seven, seven, and seven. So seven times three or seven plus seven plus seven is twenty-one twelfths. And that's what I've got on the other side over here was twenty-one twelfths. And then I simplify it. And so 12, again, goes into 24 one time. 9 left over, 9 twelfths. This, again, goes to the host. And you have 9 twelfths left over. And that is 9, goes, 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. And so she gets to take home 3 fourths of it, which your answer is A. All right. There you go. I hope that it all helped out this evening. Sorry for the interruptions. You're going to have five videos tonight, and this is the last one on it. So I hope that helps you out anyway. I will see you tomorrow. If you did not do the evens, you're doing that tonight. If you did the evens last night, you're doing the odds tonight. And I shall see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye.